Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the wide band Delphi. Friend, today's uh, topic is very, very important and interesting, especially if you have interest in project management or you are planning to give exam of uh, PMP. So let's uh, start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. First of all, friend, the Delphi method is a structured communication technique originally developed as a systematic interactive uh, forecasting method which relies on a panel of experts. The experts answer questions in two or more rounds. After each round, a facilitator provides an uh, anonymous summary of the experts forecast from the previous round with the reasons for their judgments. Experts are then encouraged to revise their early answers in light of the replies of other members of the panel. It is believed that during this process the range of answers will uh, decrease and the group will coverage uh, towards the correct answer. Finally, the process is stopped after a predefined uh, stop criterion, for example, number of rounds, achievement of consensus and stability of results and the mean or median R scores of the final rounds determine the results. Wide band Delphi technique. In the 1970s, Barry uh, Boom and John uh, A. Farquhar originated the wide band variant of the Delphi method. The term wide band is used because compared to the Delphi method, the wide band Delphi technique involves greater interaction and more communication between the participants. In wide band Delphi technique, the estimation uh, team comprises the project manager, moderator, experts, and representative from the development team, constituting three to seven member team. There are two meetings: kickoff meeting and the estimation meeting. Wide band Delphi technique: the steps. First step one. Choose the estimation team and moderator. Step 2. The moderator conducts the kickoff meeting in which the team is presented with the problem specification and a high level task list. Any assumptions or project constraints the team discusses on the project problem and estimation issues. If any, they also decide on the units of estimation. The moderator guides the entire discussion, monitors time and after the kickoff meeting prepares a structured document containing problem specification, high level task list, assumptions and the units of estimation that are decided. He then forwards copies of this document for the next step. Step 3. Each estimation team member then individually generates a detailed uh, work breakdown structure estimates each task in the work breakdown structure and documents the assumptions model. Step 4. The moderator calls the estimation team for the estimation meeting. If any of the estimation team members respond saying that the estimates are not ready, the moderator gives more time and resends the meeting invite. Step 5. The entire estimation team assembles for the estimation meeting. Step 5.1. At the beginning of the estimation meeting, the moderator collects the initial estimates from each of the team members. Step 5.2. He then plots a chart on the whiteboard. He plots each member's total project estimate as an X on the round one line without disclosing the corresponding name. The estimation team gets an idea of the range of estimates which initially may be large. Step 5.3. Each team member reads aloud the detailed task list that he or she made, identifying any assumptions made and raising any questions or issues. The task estimates are not disclosed. The individual detailed task list contribute to a more complex task list when combined. Step 5.4. The team then discusses each any doubt or problem they have about the task they have arrived at assumptions made and estimation issues. Step 5.5. Each team member then revisits his or her task list and assumptions and makes changes if necessary. The task estimates also may require adjustments based on the discussion which are noted uh, for more effort and for less effort. 
the team members then combine the changes in the task estimates to arrive at the total project estimate. Step 5.6 The moderator collects the changed estimates from all the team members and plots them on the round 2 line. In this round, the range will be narrower compared to the earlier one as it is more consensus based. Step 5.7 The team then discusses the task modifications they have made and the assumptions. Step 5.8 Each team member then revisits his or her task list and assumptions and makes changes if necessary. The task estimates may also require adjustments based on the discussion. The team members then once again combine the changes in the task estimate to arrive at the total project estimate. Step 5.9 The moderator collects the changed estimates from all the members again and plots them on the round 3 line. Again in this round the range will be narrower compared to the earlier one. Step 5.10 Step 5.7, 5.8, 5.9 are repeated till one of the following criteria is met. Results are converged to an acceptably narrower range. All the team members are unwilling to change their latest estimates. The allotted estimation meeting time is over. Step 6. The project manager then assembles the result from the estimation meeting. Step 6.1. He compiles the individual task list and the corresponding estimates into a single master task list. Step 6.2 He also combines the individual list of assumptions. Step 6.3 He then reviews the final task list with the estimation team. Advantages and Disadvantages of Wideband Delphi Technique First, we shall discuss about the advantages. The advantages are uh, Wideband Delphi Technique is a consensus based estimation technique for estimating effort, useful when estimating time is to do a task. Participation of experienced people and they individually estimating would lead to reliable results. People who would do the work are making estimates, thus making valid estimates. Uh, anonymity maintained throughout makes it possible for everyone to express their results confidently. A very simple technique. Assumptions are documented, discussed and agreed. Disadvantages. Management support is required. The estimation results may not be what the management wants to hear actually. So, uh, then friend, a wideband Delphi technique is a simple way of creating estimates based on consensus. It extends Delphi estimation by adding the group communication stage and iterative loop. So uh, the wideband Delphi estimation method was developed in 1940s at the RAND Corporation as a forecasting tool. So friend, uh, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with the friends and colleagues. And thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.